This video is going to show you how to set up your FDH flow sensor for the first time. The impressive detection capabilities along with this intuitive, easy to read display makes the FDH Keyence's most versatile flow sensor. Any pipe, any liquid, simply clamp on to monitor liquid flow. Everything referenced in this video can be found in the FDH manual, located on the Keyence website, or downloadable in the description below. When powering on the FDH for the first time, you will be greeted with the initial settings screen. Here you can use the keypad to navigate these menus, as well as confirm your selections. I'm going to be changing the display orientation to horizontal clockwise so it's a little easier to read. Please enter your date and time settings accordingly, as well as if you have an additional Keyens device connected to one of the multi-ports, like an FIC concentration sensor, FIT temperature sensor, or even FL level sensor. Make sure to select the proper model number in this screen. Next, you can begin working through all of the pipe-specific questions like size, material, as well as what sort of units that you want the FDH to read in. Once you've configured all of your pipe settings, you can adjust the functions of each of the wire colors coming from the FDH. You can set the target to something like flow, temperature, or error. You may have additional options if you have a concentration or temperature sensor connected to the FDH. You can also adjust the I.O. type as being a discrete output, analog output, or even an external input. Any of these functions can be adjusted later on in the settings of the FDH. So make sure to click set and complete all of the initial settings. If you need to adjust any of the settings we just modified, you'll need to initialize the FDH. Go into the menu tapping the mode button, cycle to where it says initialize. You'll first notice that there are a lot of different settings we can actually reset, but we're going to go to initialize all to bring the FDH to a factory default position or as if we just got it right out of the box. Each of those different initialize settings options serve a different purpose. You'll see the chart below highlighting what actually gets initialized or reset when you do select that option. This is helpful if you don't want to fully reset the FDH to make changes. Once you're satisfied with all your initial settings, you can begin getting comfortable with the FDH. Use the right arrow key to cycle between all the default display options, including temperature, instantaneous flow rate, as well as temperature, and back to instantaneous flow rate. If you need any additional display options, tap the center button to open up the Change Display menu. Here you can see things like hold values, percent display, accumulated, or a graph. If we look at hold values, we'll see the peak and bottom or highest and lowest instantaneous flow rate at a given time. If we open up accumulated value or totalizer, we'll see how much liquid has flown past the FDH in a given amount of time. This can be reset by holding the mode and the left arrow key together for three to five seconds and executing a reset. So that number is going to go back down to zero. This is useful if you need an output to turn on after the FDH has seen a certain amount of liquid pass by it. We can also look at graph display, which is going to give us a more visual look at the instantaneous flow rate within a given period of time. We'll always still have that temperature, that instantaneous flow as well as temperature, and the graph display that we just changed to. For this example, we're just going to be looking at instantaneous flow rate. You can adjust any of the I.O. settings by going into the menu. By default, it will be set to standard, where your output turns on above a certain flow rate. You can adjust this to something like area, where your output turns on between two flow rates, or pulse output, where your output turns on and then off after 
one or 10 gallons passes the FDH. You can even get an output if there's bubbles detected in the line. Let's do accumulated flow just for example purposes. This is gonna turn our output on when we've reached a certain volume of liquid passing the FDH. We'll switch our display back over to accumulated value. Here you can see my threshold on the bottom of 3000. You can adjust that down with the keypad. So once my top current value goes above this green bottom number, my output will turn on and stay on. If you instead need to set up an analog signal, go back into your I.O. settings and make sure to select the channel that you configured analog to be. Here you can change things like the analog signal, as well as the lower and upper limit of the analog target, which by default will be flow rate. If you need to adjust any additional settings on your FDH, go into the detection settings. Here, select the device that you would like to configure, in this case, just our flow sensor. Now we can change things like response time, display resolution, hysteresis, among a few other things. The diagnostic function is extremely useful when troubleshooting stability issues with your FDH. Go into the menu and select Perform Diagnostics to get more information about why the FDH is losing stability or not reading properly. At this point, your FDH should be configured. If you're using additional devices like the FIT temperature sensor, FIC concentration sensor, or FL level sensor, and you need additional assistance, please reach out to your local Keyence applications engineer. Have a great rest of your day.